I just find that this market is treacherous. Uh, we need to see some stabilization in megatech, and we've not. By the way, at the big board this morning, uh, fintech company Investnet at the NASDAQ, it is the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference. We are going to get um, JPM and Citi and Wells and BlackRock on Friday. How much is riding on it? Well, I, I think a great deal. But I also think that uh, you know, this is one where every single day that the, the tenure goes uh, down in price up, up in yield, people get excited about this group. Now, they have to deliver incredible numbers. David, the expectations being created by the tenure is going to make it so a Bank of America has to say on the conference call, we are going to make a ton of money this year. And I don't know. They're a responsible company. I don't know if they're going to do that. Um, you don't. You don't know that they're going to actually articulate it, right. or you don't know that they're actually going to hit. No, why would they? Brian Moynihan is so not a hype artist. I think we've all come to know that Brian Moynihan, straight shooting guy. Yeah. And the one thing he doesn't do is say, you know what? Tenure's doing perfect for us. That's just not his style. The name that has benefited the most so far this year, and we say well, it's year, it's the been most five days, is, is Wells Fargo. Oh, my God. It's up Wells almost 16%. Different. Wells is different because Charlie Scharf can say, listen, I've now completed, I've fired everyone. There's no one left. I mean, it would shock me if if there was anyone in the senior team that is now left. So that's Charlie Sharp, CEO, has a very compelling story to say. At the same time, the expectations. You have to remember that in 2018, this stock was at 60 before Janet Yellen took the wood to it, said that it had regulatory problems. So all it's doing is getting back to where it was in 2018. All the rest of the banks have soared. So it's a possibility he's playing catch-up. Uh, by the way, speaking of all this, it is the same old story this morning, financials and energy, uh, the only two sectors that are green. Oppy does name Amex a top pick uh, today. They say it's going to be a, a good year for card issuers relative to the S&P. I, I think it is. I think that the, that was a spend call, that spending will be up this year. I think that that's a good call. Uh, stocks uh, had a decent run, but it's, it's kind of like fintech light, but bank heavy. Uh, the fintechs themselves, when I saw PayPal, it, we ran a headline, I don't know, like at 4.30, which just said, uh, PayPal discussing whether it might even do crypto. I mean, you know, a, a stable coin. And, you know, you can't put out that. Carl, I mean, you're either going to do it or you're not. And I knew PayPal was going to be down. PayPal was strong on Thursday, weak on Friday. These stocks, the fintech stocks, they are a nightmare, Carl. And Gensler's comments this morning about everything being regulated, if it's being sold to individuals, that just made everything even more fraught. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Uh, NVIDIA's given up another 4% today, Jim. You know, um, we've been talking a lot about cloud and yeah. software. Semis, relative to that, have held up as far as fundamentals go. But, but more of the commodity semis. I mean, Micron's been really good. Uh, NVIDIA... Uh, David, you know NVIDIA still has not declared that the uh, ARM deal is over. But they had a great presentation Monday last week, a great presentation Tuesday, completely ignored by both the investors and the analysts. And they were I mean, I watched them, and they were quite collect crests at the, a conference last week. The CFO said, listen, things are going much better than expected. It doesn't matter. People want out. High multiple. Again, uh is this going to be something we're talking about three months, six front months from now? Is it going to, going to be something we're talking about at the end of the year? Is this has been well, a very difficult year? Is it all dependent on rates, or do we hit some sort of point at which earnings come through? I, I think that and earnings— And once again, this right. rotation from, value, uh, from growth to value reverses. So in that sense, we should be looking at Alphabet and uh, Meta Platform, because those are the two— that actually are cheap. You know, they have like, I know. David, their multiples are well under a lot of consumer product companies. Yeah, and with incredible top line growth, right. at least as of the last couple of quarters. Um, I mean, Alphabet, which had a very good year last year, very strong in terms right. of the stock, is down over 7% so far this year. But, you know, Carl, let's say rates were uh, back to 175, or Jay Powell said something on tenure. Jay Powell said something saying, look, uh, Omicron. We really don't know the damage it's doing, so we're going to keep looking. Then you're going to get a big reversal. So I don't want to tell people, look, it's time to sell NVIDIA. I mean, NVIDIA is a great secular growth name. But I think a lot of people just say, I'm not waiting for the call. I just get me out.